we have some very interesting things to talk about in this one. Game Informer has yet another Resident Evil 4 remake video for us, and the devs want to betray our expectations, which sounds interesting. The game releases in just under one month from now, we might be seeing new updates for it every single week until then, especially this week. We're more than likely receiving the demo on Thursday, which is going to be huge, and we're going to be playing that live for you all. Now with that being said, let's get into the video. One of the major aspects of them wanting to remake the game was how after playing the original, they realized how linear it was. And how today's games, while they do have a linearity to it, you can still freely explore things at your own pace. And generally, you're not being forced to move on, and exploring is widely encouraged. This is an element that they wanted to have in Resident Evil 4 Remake. So one of the key areas they focused on was player choice in multiple ways. Mainly on how they approach things, you have various options now in combat with stealth, escape, or going in guns blazing. All of this adds a trial and error sort of approach. Like in the first trailer, when Leon runs through the barn, he can use the lantern to ignite the poor cow below, providing a crowd clearing element to it if you kited enough enemies through there. There are also branching paths and multiple ways to access different areas, very early on too. You can discover these simply by exploring and it opens up new routes. RPG fans are going to love this one. I myself spent extra time just running around corners to find every single little thing that I can, whether items or secrets. I'm aiming for everything. But this was a huge factor for them to make lots of updates for in the game. And probably is going to be my favorite thing that I'm looking forward to in Resident Evil 4 Remake. The next element they wanted to add in was strategy, which sort of adds more to the previous statement about freedom from linearity. But essentially, they wanted to have encounters oftentimes start off where the enemies are not aware of the player's presence, which then allows players to scout them out and plan your next attack, whether it be stealth, traps, escape, or guns blazing. This offers multiple options for various styles of play for each player. You can now freely choose to do one or the other, and nothing seems to be forced. Outside of boss fights, I imagine. The bolt thrower weapon was a big factor for this, which allows you to do stealth takedown on enemies from far away and they won't know which direction this was fired from due to it being silent, which is a great element to the stealth strategy. I plan to do a stealth playthrough, a knife playthrough, an action playthrough, you name it. Comment below the craziest runs you guys would love to see me do. I know in the old game there was some wild stuff you could do. I've seen Tiffany Lockhart run through the entire game with only eggs in her attache case. Shout out to Tiffany. Another big element that the devs want you guys to know is to make sure that you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. Only 12% of you guys who watch and love the videos are currently subbed. Let's raise that even higher and make sure you guys are all up to date. Our channel's been trending and naturally with that, new viewers are watching and the sub percentage is dropping. I believe in you guys. Together we can accomplish anything. Hit that like button. Let's get this video to a thousand likes to continue to spread the hype because we are less than three weeks away from Resident Evil 4 Remake being out and ready for all of us to play. No, but really, another key element for them was designing the remake from ever feeling repetitive. You're constantly doing new things from scene to scene alongside the big action moments and traversing the world. They wanted the game to never have a dull or boring moment. So it's a big focus and a core characteristic for them in this game. The game originally did well with the pacing of how certain enemies appeared, so they didn't feel the need to mess with that. However, when it comes to the horror elements of the game, they wanted to spice those up even more, which you can tell easily by looking at any of the trailers or footage of the game. Between the atmosphere, enemy design, model revamps, sound effects, and more, they feel this feat was greatly accomplished. Their goal was to not simply remake the game, but create an evolution from Resident Evil 4 and further enhance the experience for more fans. Which is an easy W in my book. The original game is great, but you can always do little things, especially with the modern technology these days, to enhance the gameplay and overall elements to a higher level of standard. I'm going to be linking this interview in the description below. Feel free to check it out because there's way more that they talk about. I just included the elements I felt that were important for me to mention because the others were simply repeats and stuff that we already talked about, like them once again gushing out over the knife and parry details. No worries, I do the same too. And finally, it's come up that the devs badly want Resident Evil 4 Remake to betray our expectations, which is an interesting quote. And Final Fantasy VII Remake fans will probably have hot flashes hearing that. <laughs> but actually, I think what it means is totally different. They want the game to be simultaneously fresh yet familiar. Their aim is to betray your expectations in the best way possible while respecting the feel of the original game. This to me means that they want to have fans of the original also love this equally, if not more. So they took extra precautions to change up elements in the best ways possible. 
but still retain that original charm and feel that the original game had, which we all fell in love with, while also still having new surprises that don't take away or hurt elements from the original game. It's a great statement in my opinion, and if one thing is apparent from all these new gameplay footages and interviews that they've been doing, they absolutely love the original game and are trying to create something special that old and new fans will love equally, if not more. Resident Evil 4 Remake is shaping up to be a banger, guys. Between this and Final Fantasy 16, my heart is absolutely torn for Game of the Year. But man, oh man, we can all totally agree that this year, no matter what happens, is going to be an amazing W for gamers all around. Just so many good things coming up, man. I'm so excited to experience this with you all. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More Resident Evil videos are on the way and you won't want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.